Valiant's 25th anniversary convention tour rolled into Emerald City Comic Con last week with a slew of creators in tow and some big announcements of what's to come. So consider this video a little cliff notes of the noteworthy news announced at the con. Of course, light spoilers and plenty of pure speculation lay ahead. If you haven't read last week's final issue of the Valiant miniseries in particular, do be advised that some of the items being discussed connect directly to the end of that series. Alright, here we go. At their panel, Valiant announced their new summer event, The Book of Death, releasing a teaser image by Robert Gill, artist on such Valiant books as Eternal Warrior, Faith Zero, and the Armor Hunter's Harbinger book. No specific details were given, but it was stated that the series would address unresolved questions that resulted from the ending of the Valiant miniseries. The implication is that this may specifically deal with the consequences of the future Eternal Warrior sending a child Geomancer back in time to replace the murdered Kay McHenry. The new Geomancer, a child, even first appears holding a book. Now could this be the Book of Death? That answer is a definitive, I have no idea. This could just as likely be Geomancing for Dummies for all I know, and we will see. No doubt there's some additional announcements in the weeks to come. The other big fallout from The Valiant dealt with Bloodshot. Writer Jeff Lemire was on hand and provided a few interesting tidbits. April's Bloodshot Reborn series is set a couple of months after the events of The Valiant. There's a story in the 2015 Free Comic Book Day title that will fill in some of what happened in that gap in time. On the art side of things, we know Miko Suyan is handling duties for the first arc, but we also got some more detail on the other artists working on the title. Bloodshot Reborn is being written with a big lead time, with Jeff Lemire already plotting for issues that won't come until the end of 2016. Here's what approximately the first 12 months of Bloodshot's title are going to look like. Miko Suyan is handling issues 1 through 4. He'll be followed by Raoul Allen for a single story in issue 5. And then kicking off the second art will be Butch Geist handling the art duties in issues 6 through 9, followed by Louis LaRosa on the third arc, starting with issue number 10. Now one interesting tidbit about this new series comes from Jeff Lemire discussing the character's new status after losing his nanites at the end of the Valiant. More than once Lemire referred to this as Bloodshot losing most of his nanites, not all of them as many presumed. Now what this means as far as powers and abilities remains to be seen. He could have no powers at all, or perhaps a, a more reined in version of his powers. Now, no new Shadow Man announcements were made at the con, and the character's been MIA since the End Times miniseries wrapped up, which is why it was notable to see him show up twice in art revealed at the convention. First, in the Book of Death reveal art, which could just be chalked up to being a piece of promotional art for Valiant, but far more interesting were pencils to a page by Louis LaRosa from Bloodshot Reborn. This art showed a marauding gang dressed like Shadow Man piled into the back of a truck. Writer Jeff Lemire elaborated only slightly, describing the scene as a Mad Max road warrior type gang and chase sequence. So it looks like a return of the character is certainly a possibility and something to keep on your radar. Now a little potpourri of some light information about some other titles coming up. From the final page of Dr. Mirage's first series, we've known a follow-up was in the works. And now we know who the full creative team of this book. Returning for a second tour of duty will be the entire same roster of the first volume. Jen Van Meter, Robert De La Torre, and David Barron. Matt Kent was asked about his cosmic title Divinity and divulged that the closing page of the series may include hints opening the door for a potential follow-up series to the tale. Over in Quantum and Woody Land, James Asmus confirmed we will be getting resolution to the goat's pregnancy, hinting that there may be something different in that womb than just a baby goat. And finally, it was confirmed that there are plans in place for the Renegades to come back in some fashion to the pages of the Valiant Universe. The only hint that was given was that there may be some clues in the May 2nd free comic book day offering. And that's going to do it for your Emerald City Comic Con Cliff Notes. To make sure you never miss a video, be sure to subscribe, or you can also follow us on Twitter, at Valiant Review.